Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars custom diecast review. Today we're going to take a look at the Apple stock car, aka Joshua Josh Leverson, the veteran Apple Piston Cup racer from Cars 3. Now before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, <clears throat> the Apple stock car, or should I say Joshua Josh Leverson, is an Axello Fission EA Piston Cup racer that bore the number 84 for Apple Incorporated and had previously replaced the other Apple racer, Mac Icar from Cars 1, between 2006 and 2015. He also shared the same body as Brick Yardley, hence why they're both Excello Fijon EAs. In 2016, during his appearance in Cars 3, he was one of the racers to participate in the Dynaco Light 350 at the Motor Speedway of the South, and on that very same year, before the race at Rust Belt Raceway, when next-gen racers start arriving on the scene, he was replaced by a next-gen racer named JP Drive. And he, and he was and he was last shown in a picture when Natalie Certain was talking about how many veteran racers are being retired like Cal Weathers or fired like Brick Yardley to make room for next these younger, faster, next gen stock car racers, but it wasn't which wasn't over yet. And I made this out of a duplicate brick yardly from the Rocker Arms International Speedway 5 pack, which I had re recorded from the Cars 3 Todd Marcus video. I'll leave a link in the description. And also, the reason why I named J this car Joshua Josh Leverson is because my the name Joshua Josh Leverson was the the original name for the Rev and Go racer here here before, right before it was named Wayne Dasher as it as it's shown in the 2022 Cars poster video, with, and I'll leave another link in the description. So, anyhow, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So, here we've got his happy facial expression, his working headlights and black grill, and on the hood we've got the Apple logo, and I, I know, I know, I'm sorry, I know that the Apple logo is in the number 84 is supposed to be gray, I'm sorry, I just don't have a gray sharpie. I'm not perfect, so please don't get mad at me. So, anyhow, here we've got his, num on both sides, we've got the number 84 and the arrow at the bottom indicating a pity to lift him up and the gas cap, no Apple logo there. Here. No contingency sponsors. I'm, as I say before, uh, as I say, I'm not perfect. And we've got the black rims on the black wall light year racing tires. Although I never even know that in the actual film he has gray rims uh, right until you know, I've read an article in the World of Cars Week website. Right. And on the top we've got another number 84, no name signature, no Apple logo on the trunk. And on the back side, we've got the red working taillights and the Apple logo. And on the back bumper, we've got another number 84. And on the right side, we've got the exhaust pipe. And that is it. Now, let's pull up some of the other XL Fission EAs. Okay. Here we've got Brick Yardley.
Wang Dasher, Dud Throttleman, Tommy Highbanks, Parker Brixton, Brian Spark, Buck Barringley, and lastly, Terry Cargaz, even though he shares the same body as Cal Weathers, and some of the other Accelo vehicles. Here we've got Core Copper, who is in Rapido SI, and Manny McGear, who is a Microlux. And, and lastly, Mac Icar, and some of the Apple Racer, other Apple Racers besides Mac Icar, we've got Mac, not only Mac Icar, but also JP Drive. And now, and now let's do a comparison between the two Apple stock cars. Here are some similarities and differences. Both are painted white. Both are piston cup racers that are sponsored by Apple Incorporated and with which their team number is number 84. But here are some differences. Matt Guycar from Cars 1, Joshua Josh Leverson from Cars 3, headlight stickers with a number 84, taillight stickers, I mean work actual working headlights, grill, no grill, angry expression, happy expression, both have the Apple on logo on the hood and the number 84 on the top, no name signature, Apple on trunk, no Apple on trunk, white rims on the black wall light year tires, black wall tires on the black rims on the black wall light year tires, although gray actually in the film arrow at the bottom, no arrow at the bottom, no Apple logo on both sides, contingency sponsor saying Piston Cup, Nitro Aid, Revolting, Vitaline, Clutch Aid, Octane Gain, Mood Springs, and Little Torquey Pistons, no sponsor logos, Apple logo in on the back side in between the taillights, Taillight stickers with the number 84, actual working taillights, and the number 84 at the on the back bumper. Exhaust pipes on both sides. Exhaust pipes only on the front. And now another comparison, but this time with JP Drive. Both are from Cars 3. Both race for Apple Incorporated. Both bear the number 84. Stock car, next gen racer. Both have working taillights. Grill, no grill. Happy expression, grumpy expression. Both have the Apple logo on the hood. Veteran, rookie. Both have the number 84 on the top, no name signature, Apple on spoiler, no Apple on spoiler or trunk. And both have the working headlights. Both have the number 84 on both sides. Both have an arrow at the very bottom indicating the pity to lift them up. Both have the black wall light year racing tires gray in the in the film both have the gas cap no apple logo no apple logo and both have doesn't have contingency sponsors only in the film both have the apple logo on the back and the working taillights in a Number 84 on the back bumper, 
although rookie stripes, no rookie stripes, meaning that JP Drive here is a rookie, while Joshua Josh Leverson here is a veteran. Exhaust pipes on the right side, exhaust pipes on both sides. And that is it. Now, what do you guys think? Which Accelo vehicle is your favorite? And which Team Apple Racer is your favorite? Let me know what you think, as well as leaving suggestions of which car to review next in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now! Thank you.